Good morning, this is Heather Longoria again from the St. John Clark Pain Treatment Center. And today I'm gonna to be talking to you about something a little bit different, and that is our feet. So our feet um, form the foundation of our bodies when we're standing, and when our feet are not mobile, um, it can cause compensations all the way up the chain. So it can cause knee problems, it can cause hip problems, back problems, all the way up the chain. So I'm gonna share a couple quick um, exercises with you today and a couple quick tips that can help you build some awareness in your feet and help to unlock some tension coming from your lower body. So the first thing that I wanted to share with you is the importance of choosing your shoes. So when we choose shoes that are that have heels on them where the heel is higher than the toe, um, what that does is it puts our bodies into plantar flexion. So let's see here if I can demonstrate this. So when you have a heel on, it automatically puts your, um, your pelvis into that kind of position. And instead of having your hips centered over your ankles, your hips end up coming a little bit forward. So your weight ends up being supported more by the ball of the foot instead of the heel of the foot, which is where that thick, sturdy bone is that should be supporting our weight. So something to think about when you go out shoe shopping. We know that the high heels are very sexy and they're very pretty shoes, but it's good to be fully informed about the effects that wearing them um, can have on your body. So um, you may want to start to investigate some shoes that are called zero drop shoes. So these are shoes that where the heel and the end of the shoe are all um, the same depth. And this will help get your body back on more what's called the coronal plane so that your hips are stacked over ankles. And then also, um, if you can buy shoes that have a really thin sole on them, that also helps your foot with mobility. So we have 33 joints in your feet, um, but when we put our feet into really cushy, thick-soled shoes, those joints can't really articulate. And those joints, actually, your feet send a ton of input into your brain. Um, and if your feet are padded and cushioned, you're losing a lot of um, in input into your brain, which can affect your pain levels, it can affect your balance, um, and it can affect your, your ability to move well. So just something to consider and play with. Um, and then secondly, I'm gonna show you a couple different exercises you can do to help restore some mobility to your feet. So first of all, it is really important to walk barefoot, especially um, outside if you can. I know here in Florida, there are snakes, frogs, snails, lizards, all sorts of crazy stuff on the ground, so be careful where you are walking barefoot. But when we walk barefoot, um, we actually um, exchange some energy with the earth and that can help decrease inflammation in the body. And then also when we walk over on even surfaces, instead of walking on like flat concrete all the time, when we walk over the ground, our feet have to compensate and adjust for all of those changes and variations in terrain. So again, sending a bunch of novel sensory input into the brain and how help the brain map the body better. Okay, so those exercises I promised. Um, a first one is called a top of the foot stretch. So especially if you spend a lot of time in heeled shoes, that slants your body forward and puts you into what's called dorsiflexion. So plantar flexion is like the Barbie doll foot. If you think of what a Barbie doll looks like, that's what your foot is in when you are in um, high heeled shoes. Um, but when we're when our foot is flat and our hips are projected forward, that's dorsiflexion. So um, what happens is the front, the top of your foot and the front of your calf can get shortened in that position over time. So this stretch will help um, alleviate some of that tension. So let's see if I can get the camera far enough so you can see me do this. Okay. So you are just going to step your foot back and I recommend if you have balance issues to do this next to a table so that you can use that for balance. And you're just going to stretch your foot back. And then let me fold this up so you can see my foot better. And then you can drop your heel off to the side and especially like right here, I'm starting to feel a lot of stretch on the top of my foot and you can drop your heel towards the center and just investigate this stretch. And if you find a spot that's extra tight, just hang out in that spot for a little bit, breathe, and see if you can get it to soften with your awareness. So this is a great stretch to do. Um, and you can even do it seated too. When you're sitting at um, in a chair, you can just put your foot underneath your chair and stretch out the top of your foot a little bit there too. And then the second um, exercise I'm gonna show you, let's see here if I can get you a little bit closer to the table. Okay. 
and this stretch is going to help you um, widen uh, the base of support in your foot. So um, what you're gonna do is, let's see, cross your leg and and you can do this in a chair too, and you're gonna take your fingers and you're gonna interdigitate, interdigitate them with your toes. So it's like you're holding hands with your foot. <laughs> and then you're just gonna squeeze your toes and try to build some space in between your, your toes. And you can actually, you can get um, toe spacers uh, I think they're called yogi toes. They're little like foam wedges that you can put between your toes that will also help stretch your toes apart. So you have teeny tiny muscles between your metatarsals of your feet that are called interossei. And when our shoe, when our toes get crammed into uh, tight toe boxes, like especially like high heels, um, that can make those muscles shorten and get really tight and again cause a reduction in mobility in the feet. So that little exercise where you intersperse your fingers with your toes and just compress and then you can actually squeeze your hands together and then fling your fingers apart, that's going to help to stretch out those feet and give you a little bit more mobility and then also widen your feet a little bit. So we all know that um, a wider base of support is a more stable structure. So if we can widen the base of the support of your feet, that will help with balance and as well. And um, should improve uh, mobility of your knees and your hips and everything up the chain just by working on your feet a little bit. So a few things to play with today, um, give them a shot, let us know what you think and hope you have a great day. Thanks, bye.